And ice cream castles in the air And feathered canyons everywhere I've looked at clouds that way But now they only block the Hi, this is Charlene Chamberlain from WTER And you're listening and watching Front Row She's been inspiring audiences for over five decades with her magnificent voice and her beautifully vulnerable songwriting. Her rendition of Joni Mitchell's Both Sides Now has been entered into the Grammy Hall of Fame and her version of Stephen Sondheim's Send in the Clowns from the Broadway hit Little Night Music won her Grammy Award. With us today is the lovely Judy Collins who is in concert with Don McLean this Saturday, March 22nd at the Scottish Rite Auditorium in Collingswood, New Jersey. Judy, hello, welcome to WTER. Hi, thanks so much for having me on the show. Oh, we're so happy you're with us today. I have to tell you, your music is like an old, comfortable friend to me. I've been listening to you for many, many years. Oh, that's great. And, and we hear that um, you're on tour with Don McLean. Yes. So, how is it being on the road with Don? Oh, he's wonderful. I think it's a very good combination. You know, we, we get along, we have similar, we have a lot of kind of shared experiences that we can get into. So, we have wonderful talks, and I think people love the show. Good. That's great. Um, so, are you trading off on who goes on first, who goes on second, or...? Well, it doesn't matter. We're sharing the bill, so that's good. Anyway, we look forward to being there with you guys. Yeah, it's going to be a great show. Um, are you traveling by bot tour bus, or are you flying, or are you... No, no, no. I always fly. I would never be on a bus. Yeah, that's, I, I, I kind of figured that, but I just had to ask because listeners do ask those questions. Yeah. Uh, if, you had, if you could describe Don in three words, what would they be? If I could do what? If you could describe Don McLean in three words, what would they be? Oh, very fine and funny. <laughs> and in Don's defense, since he's not here, what do you think he would say about being on the road with you? Very fine and funny. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. So I'd like to uh, show our listeners your brand new CD and DVD. So I'm going to hold this up. This is Judy Collins live in Ireland. Good. And here's the DVD and here's the CD, which is available now. Good. And I watched this last night and it is just beautiful. It is just the. It was just put together so beautifully. The images of Ireland. The Moreland Castle in County Clare, and even the guest artists. And watching it, I felt like I was right there with you. It was very, very intimate. How, how, how did this come about, filming at the Moreland Castle? I've been trying to get this Irish show together for many years, decades practically. And we finally got it going with PBS, and uh, we're able to go over to Ireland and record in this gorgeous castle. Mm -hmm. And we had three guests, as you mentioned. We had the wonderful Mary Black, who is a famous Irish singer. Yes. And we had a young uh, dancer named Emily Ellis, who's nine years old. She was terrific. She's a step dancer, so she, she did her step. She looks a little bit like uh, Jean Butler from Riverdance. Yes. And, and then, of course, we had uh, another guest, Ari Hess. He and I did a, did a duet. So it was very exciting, and we did all the old songs, you know, Gypsy Rover and uh, Barbara Allen and The Wild Mountain Time and yes. lots of Irish songs. Right. And um, tell me a little bit about the song New Moon Over the Hudson. It was so beautiful. Oh, glad you mentioned it. It's a brand new song of mine. I wrote it here when I was in, I, I live right off the Hudson. And of course the new moon does quite often come up over the Hudson. Sure. But it's really about my Irish experience, my Irish family, my background. I'm glad you noticed it. I'm crazy about it. And I think it's uh, one of the best songs I've written. So I'm very happy to have been able to, to write it and put it on the show. Judy, I'm always curious about creativity and what inspires and how people create. So when you think about writing a song, do you go to your piano first or do you go to your guitar? 
I definitely go to piano. That's where I do my my best writing. I don't. I think I might have written one song, maybe two songs in my whole career on the on the guitar. I wasn't trained on the on the guitar, so I'm not much of a you know. I can use it for rhythm, and it's it's a twelve string, so it it serves me very well. But it's not the place where I write my songs. So piano is the first. Is, is would you say piano was your first love? Oh yes. I studied piano seriously as a child. Hi. Are, are you still with us? Oh, yep, okay. We're still there. Yeah. And I think I read somewhere on your website that you actually created, was it a, a piece for your piano teacher? Oh, I, I, I direct, I produced and co directed a movie about the life of my teacher who was a great conductor the first woman to conduct major symphonies in the world wow. and as a matter of fact the movie that i made about her was nominated for an academy award in 1974. wow so this that's... year this year is the 40th anniversary of that film and we're going to put it out again wow that that's pretty amazing um is she still alive no she no. died in 87 i think mm -hmm. 1987 Right. Um, but she was really quite remarkable. So your background is, you were classically trained then? Yeah, I yeah. was classically trained, exactly. Was it hard, is it hard to make a jump from piano to guitar, although I know you say you're much better? No, 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 it's very easy, it's seamless now, I mean, it wasn't so easy when I took the guitar up when I was about... 15, 14 or 15, it was a big jump then. Yeah. I mean, I had to learn to play, you know, by sure. ear. Yeah. And figure out how to do all those things and get my calluses, which is a painful process. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> because but it, it's, it's a very natural feeling transition, and I get to do all kinds of things. Um, you know, I can, I can move very easily between the two. Right. Well, that's very good. I, I was also classically trained on the piano, but have tried guitar, just can't get it. I probably yeah. need to study some more. <laughs> um, let's get back to touring for a minute. I mean, you've been on, you're going to be on this tour till I think mid-December. That's quite a long time to be on the road. Well, I, you know, my life is a tour. Right. <laughs> I do about 100 shows a year. Wow. Wow in the world, so oh, wow. sometimes I appear with Don McLean, sometimes not. I do orchestra dates, I do symphony dates, I do, um, you know, the Metropolitan. I have three concerts coming up in the coming year at the Metropolitan. Very nice. So I'm all over the country all the time. Yeah, I know. Well, my question is, um, are there challenges being on the road, or is it easier now as opposed to the earlier days? Well, it's not for everybody, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah. There are obviously challenges, yeah. all kinds of things that that come up. In, in You have to be flexible and with nerves of steel, yeah. I think. I'm sure, especially with air travel these days. That's not the easiest anymore. So, but I love it, and I'm certainly, you know, I love to fly, and I, I love the life I lead, so I feel very privileged to be able to do what I do. I have a creative life, I write songs, I write books, mm -hmm. I, I go on tour, you know, I, I, I do have a, I have a very, very privileged life, I must say. Yeah. A lot, it's a lot of work, it's certainly not for everybody. Right. Um, you know, many people couldn't take it for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. You're, um, you're very lucky that you are able to follow your bliss and follow your dreams because not many people can do that. That's, that's very true. Judy, throughout your career you have performed and collaborated with many, many iconic artists. Is there anyone that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with? Um, I'm sure certain I'm sure people come up in the course of my travels. Yes. Um, I've sung with a lot of people. I've I've performed the songs of many artists. Um, I I don't think I have a dream list. I don't have a bucket list of who I'd like to perform with. But 
you know, there will come times when I'm with other people, and, and I'm sure it'll be fun. Yes, yeah, sometimes they'll just arrive and you'll know it's right. Tell me a little bit about Ari Hest. He has such a beautiful, rich voice, and you know, I really enjoyed his singing with you on the fireplace. I I met Ari about a year ago, and we started putting him on some of our shows because he's very fine. He uh, he's been working. He's about thirty five, I think, and he okay. was with with Sony with uh, Columbia for two or three albums. But then you went out on his own, and I think he's brilliant. He's a brilliant performer, mm -hmm. very fine writer, and uh, he's somebody that, that I really like traveling with. Yeah, I, uh, his voice was just beautiful. I love listening to beautiful. him. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful voice. Yeah. So, will he be with us? Will he be with you this week, or? No, this is one of my shows with Don McLean. Right. Right. Okay. Got it. Well, I have a girly question for you. Okay. <laughs> you know, we have some, we have this fabulous images of you up on the screen behind us that um, your manager sent to us. And you look absolutely fabulous. So I, I have to ask you, what is the secret weapon that you have in your makeup bag? If you have one. Not that you need one. <laughs> I, use, uh, I use a lot of MAC products and yes. Elizabeth Arden cosmetics. Uh -huh. Elizabeth Arden skin products. Yes. And that, that, that's about it. You know, I, I have a few things that I use regularly. Yeah. And I, I just keep it simple, that's all. Well, you look, you look fabulous, and we're especially, uh, you look glowing on the shots where you're on the settee. I think it's for your album cover, The Bohemian, maybe? And um, you know, just absolutely beautiful. It looks like it should be in Vogue or Architectural Digest. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So what can we expect on Saturday? Are you going to play some of the old favorites? Well, absolutely. And of course, I'll do some of the songs from the Irish show, and I'll certainly sing uh, New Moon Over the Hudson. Oh, but yeah. I'll do a of my songs that uh, people have known over the years, certainly since you've asked, perhaps, and uh, Secret Gardens, and um, maybe I'll do the blizzard since we're coming out of the blizzard uh, season in the spring. Yeah. And probably Amazing Grace and Someday Soon, and uh, we'll sprinkle the show with, with some of the hits. Good, because I'm sure that's what everybody wants to hear as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Judy, it's been so wonderful speaking with you, and I look forward to meeting you on Wednesday. I will be there. Oh, wonderful. I look forward yeah, to it. Come definitely. Back and say hello. Yeah, I definitely want to pop back and say hello. And thank you so much for speaking with me and everyone here at WTER. We greatly appreciate it and we love your music. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Thanks, you too. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. This is Charlene from Front Row at WTER. Thanks for watching.